When you first get your rats, it can be confusing knowing what to feed them. Pet shops will often tell you to buy their rodent mix that they've been feeding the rats on, but these can have far too many sunflower seeds in, which can cause irritation to a rat's skin. Um, online you will find all sorts of recipes for making your own food, but unless you're an expert in rat nutrition, I'm not going to recommend that you make your own food. Most breeders will recommend rat nuggets. Burgess Super Rat, Rat Royale, this is generally uh, considered to be a very good quality rat nugget in the UK. 1.5 kilograms for around four to four pound fifty. This is what the rat nuggets look like. Now that's 20 grams, which is the maximum an adult rat would need in one day, and obviously you multiply that amount by the number of rats you have in your cage. For your young rats, um, around 10 grams depending on the size of the rat and obviously you're going to have to increase that um, a little bit all, every week and, to, and just see how much your rat's eating. If they're eating it all and they seem hungry you need to put a bit more in. You don't have to worry about rats overeating on nuggets. Um, they will only eat what they need and it's best to put in a little bit too much and risk wasting some than have your rats go hungry because once a day you're going to clear out the cage remove any stale food anyway. Some people say you should split the food into two meals. Um, we don't actually do that. We've put the whole lot in at night and we check the bowl in the morning. If it's low, we add some more food. Um, now when your rat is fully grown, it's best to keep your rat on the nuggets and just supplement with fruit and vegetables while they're young. But when your rat's fully grown, you can supplement a couple of times a week with some little bit of rat muesli. Now that's this is what rat muesli looks like out of the bag. It ha it it makes the rats quite fussy. It's really not a good idea to give this to young rats because they just pick out the bits they like. They don't get all their nutrients. There's quite a lot of seeds in uh, not sorry not seeds grains in here and that will mainly get left in the bowl and, and be wasted so it's not economical either. Now we um, always give a little bit of fruit and vegetable every day rather than give a large amount once or twice a week. It's far better for a rat's tummy to have a tiny bit of fruit and veg every day. The important thing um, to remember when you get your rat, say from a pet shop, if it's been on a rodent mix, get a little bit of the mix that the, the pet shop should give you a bag of the food and mix every day um, some of the muesli or rodent mix in with a few nuggets, gradually increasing the amount of nuggets and decreasing the amount of muesli until the rats are just on the nuggets um, and that's the best way to get them off of, of the muesli. You mustn't ever stop a change a rat's diet and stop a food just you know in one go because that can upset them quite badly. So and when you introduce a new food, just try a tiny little piece of food just to see whether it's going to upset their tummies. The important thing to remember with rats is that they can't be sick and they can't burp. So if you give them something that doesn't agree with them, apart from having terrible diarrhoea, um, they're going to feel very uncomfortable. But for baby rats, we would give like a one centimetre piece of food. Uh, the, with the broccoli it's slightly bigger because of the stalk, but you'll find rats adore broccoli. And um, For an adult rat it would be more like that size, two centimetre, or a little bit more if it's broccoli. We give different fruit and veg every day, and um, we try to use organic, although whatever vegetables you use, fresh is the important thing. Don't give anything that's not 100% fresh. Um, Wash everything very thoroughly before you give it to your rats and wash your hands before you prepare your rats food. Keep everything nice and clean. We peel everything um, and also with things that have seeds in, like apples and pears, don't give the seeds. There's something in there that I can't remember what it's called that's not good for rats. But just don't give the seeds and the core, you just want to give the flesh. And it, when you have broccoli, if there's any of these bits that have gone yellow, which I believe is selenium, too much selenium, um, cut off the yellow bits and get rid of them. You want the nice dark green piece, and that's the bit with the nutrients in. 
Now there's lots and lots of lists of things that you can and can't give your rats and I can't tell you what you must do and what you mustn't do. I only know what we've been told and what we've found out by experience. So this is just a small sample of the foods we give. We also um, give them um, melons, plums, actual big corn on the cob, a slice of that. The rats love to chew on. Um, cherries and berries, strawberries especially, um, tomatoes. We have always been told that foods such as beans and peas should be cooked first. And I would recommend that if you give beans... Um, and peas that you cook them, although frozen peas are often used for pea fishing but if you're giving raw peas that have come from the garden they need to be cooked and the same with things like sweet potato. The thing to avoid is the high sugar and high fat foods because they're the things your rats will eat to excess they will really like. Now some things that we've always been told you shouldn't give rats now I can't tell you 100% this is true because this list is constantly changing but we were always told to avoid citrus fruits because obviously they're quite acidic. Walnuts, rhubarb, onions, raisin, grape, chocolate, uh, peanut butter, banana and marshmallow. Now we wouldn't normally give marshmallow or any human sweet. Um, the reason with the marshmallow, the peanut butter, the banana and the grapes is because of a choking hazard and the other things, I think it was something in them that can make the rats ill. But I say, you really need to do some research of your own because advice is constantly changing. I will always, um, if you're not sure, don't feed it. It's not worth risking the health of your rat by giving them something that can make them ill. So um, the other thing that I was going to say with the food, um, we, we do, rather than split the food twice a day, we always do the whole, I think I've actually said this, we do the whole amount at night and top up in the morning because it is far better to give too much than your rats go hungry. And um, I think I've, oh yes, this is very important. People often ask about this. They think there's something wrong with your rats. Baby rats often eat their own fresh droppings. Now that is perfectly natural. They're getting some nutrients back, supposedly. It looks disgusting, but it's absolutely nothing to worry about it. And I found that when the rats get older, they don't really do that as often, so I wouldn't worry too much. Now we prefer to use ceramic bowls. We'd use a small bowl, if we just got a couple of two, two baby or three baby rats, you could use the small bowls. But it's much better to start with a, a shallow bowl like this. Now if you've got lots of rats, like six rats, like we have in a cage, you're going to need a couple of food bowls to prevent squabbles and in case they get tipped up. The shallow bowl is quite useful and you can also get a deeper bowl, which is quite nice as well. Um, now with the bowls, we don't use the stainless steel ones because we found that some rats really don't like the noise of the stainless steel. We had one poor rescue girl who got spooked very easily by everything and she wouldn't eat out of a stainless steel bowl. I think the ceramic are quite nice to keep clean. You haven't got to worry about fiddly clips to fit onto the cage. And also they don't tip up as easily. They are a lot heavier, so a bit nicer. Um, water should be the only thing you give your rat to drink. They will probably drink around about 10 mils of water for each 100 grams of body weight. So you need to have fresh water available at all times. Don't give fizzy drinks, tea, coffee, milkshake, anything else. It's not good for your rat. They might well like it. Like people, they often like things that are not good for them, but you risk making them ill and making them obese and unhappy. So get yourself some nice water bottles. Now I know in other countries you often have the water bottles that attach inside the cage but in this country we tend to, UK this is, we tend to have the bottles that attach with the wire to the bars. Now this is bunny size or midi size and that's quite a good size for rats. It's better to have a couple of this size bottle rather than just one big bottle. You need to change the water twice a day, more often if it's very hot. If you've only got two rats, you could have two of the small size bottles. So that's, that's our bottles. Now a little bit about cleaning. 
Um, we don't use detergent every single day on our food bowls. We have a nylon scourer. <laughs> that bottle brush is determined to escape. We use a nylon scourer and we thoroughly clean out, get rid of any food, thoroughly clean out inside with very hot water and then just dry with a piece of kitchen paper. And then um, once a week we will get a big bowl of soapy water, just a little bit of, of detergent, um, washing up liquid, and we rinse very thoroughly. But every day just the hot water will be fine. The reason we only use the detergent once a week is because of the link of um, washing up liquid and cancer in rats. So obviously we like to thoroughly clean the bowls, but generally every day hot water will do. Now the same with the water bottles. We've never ever used detergent in old drinking water bottles. It's not necessary. One, every day we will clean the bowl out with this bottle brush, which will get, I have very wobbly hands, so sorry. This will get right inside, clean out with very hot water, then rinse with cold water, and then fill up with your drinking water. But we don't want our rats drinking anything that's tainted with detergent. Now this brush has a little brush at the end that you can get right inside to clean inside the drinking spout. But if you don't have the tiny brush, don't worry about it. Just some cotton buds and get right inside. And we clean that out every day, right inside there. And then, so with hot water and then rinse with cold and then just fill up with cold for drinking. Um, but the important thing to remember when you buy your bottles, always fill the edge of the nozzle. I've bought them before and they've got nasty sharp edges. You don't want anything like that, you want it to be perfectly smooth so your rats don't hurt their mouths. And a water bottle should probably only last you around about two months um, and you will have to change it. We do use the nylon scourer on the edges of the the drinking spout to stop lime scale build up on the outside as well. So that's basically your water bottles and I'm just going to take this camera off the tripod and show you a bit about attaching your water bottles. Now always have at least two water bottles on your cage. Now you see with your baby rats you want to put the bottle as low as possible and as they get older lift your bottle up a bit higher so they can reach it easier. If you have horizontal bars on your cage then attach the wires to the horizontal bars that will hold it fairly steady. If you um, have just mainly the, the, if you have the sorry the ver <laughs> don't know what I'm saying here if you have the vertical bars then try and hook one edge of the wire into the vertical bar and that is not quite as steady but it should help prevent the bottle being um, tipped off and that's why you always need at least two bottles because rats get very good at unhooking their water bottles and um, knocking them off. Now if the wires get worn like that or, and the plastic coating comes off, they're quite sharp, that's another reason why you need to change the wire or change the bottle because that can be quite sharp. And here's some of my little girls are asleep over here. Now we do put um, open water into our cages but we don't leave it there all the time and it's not for drinking, it's for washing. The rats love to splash and wash in their open water bottle and I would suggest um, you know, that you would never only have open water for their drinking water because it gets contaminated. Hello little Amy. It gets contaminated really easily and that's not good for your rats. Um, whenever you're doing anything with your rat's food, always wash your hands first. Just some ordinary mild soap, you don't need to go overboard. Just make sure everything's nice and clean. And um, if you're putting the open water bottle in, you can do what we do. Just put it in in the evening for a couple of hours, let the rats have a splash about and then take it out again. But um, that is my little Ellie. My little girls are so cute. But I think that's probably all I can mention about food and water. If anyone's got any questions as usual, please just um, let me know. There's my daisy. <laughs> They're all getting ready for playtime.